What's up, y'all? This is Rain Man, and this is gonna be my video pertaining to a post I saw on Facebook. Now, um, I don't recall this video, but here's what happened. Someone on Facebook, this chick posted up "Rebel Flag" by ICP. If you don't know what that song is about, it's about them killing racist rednecks and um, killing racist rednecks and hillbillies, you know, and shit like that. So she posted up and she put in the captions, "Fuck your rebel flag." So there was this chick, right? She commented. She said, "No, I will not say fuck your rebel flag." And what was her picture? It was a rebel flag with little hatchet mans replacing the stars, you know. And this dude pops out like out of nowhere, like a fucking rabbit out of a magician's hat, saying, "Let me ask you a question. If ICP says fuck rednecks, fuck hillbillies, why did they sign Boondocks onto Psychopathic Records?" I had to do a video. I had to do a video to this just to clear things out of the way. And shit like that, you know. And um, you know, it's kind of getting nonsense around here. I'm gonna talk about um the ICP song "Rebel Flag." I'm gonna talk about the Rebel Flag. I'm gonna talk about a history me and my homie AJ had in Tiny Check pertaining to a Rebel Flag. And I'm gonna talk about the why Boondocks is on Psychopathic Records. First off, let's go off to this. If ICP made the song Fuck Your Rebel Flag and a lot of songs pertaining to Rednecks, then why did they sign Boondocks? Hmm. When was Rebel Flag made? Um, when was it made? Oh, yes. It was made in 1991 in the Carnival Carnage album. When was Boondocks signed? Hmm. Oh, of course. 2004. That's 13 years in the making. 13 years in differential, you know? Now, What's up with that? You know, now, between, well, within the years of going by, ICP going by 1991, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, and all that shit, you know, um, a lot of things have changed. For instance, um, Violent J did an interview about the greatest songs that they've ever done. Now, I couldn't find the link. I knew the link, but I couldn't find it. And, you know, the boy Blue posted up on his Facebook. Like months ago, but then I couldn't find it. But yes, ICP did. I mean, ICP. Vine J did talk about the songs, the greatest songs that they ever done, which include Rebel Flag, um, Chicken Hunting, Halls of Illusions, Pass Me By, um, Fuck the World, Homies, I'm Feeling, um, I'm Gonna Kill You, um, Miracles, and shit like that. You know, he talked about all those songs. Now, the one that got my attention the most was the Rebel Flag song. He said back then at that time, whenever they're making the music and before, he saw the rebel flag as being evil, you know. And if y'all read Behind the Paint, um, Violent J ran away from his home just to see his brother Jump City from, from the army. And Violent J was in North Carolina or so. And he slept inside a place that had rebel flags, you know. I had a rebel flag and this dude was pretty much racist, you know. Um... So that's where he got the idea of uh, the rebel flag being a racist, well, being evil. And that explains up on that one. And as the years went by, people from psychopathic, everyone's realizing that being a juggalo is not, it can be mostly anybody, you know. Either you're a fan of, a fan of anyone from psychopathic records or all of them or even if none of them, you know. You could be a juggalo if you're not actually into ICP or anything like that, you know. And that's what Twist has said in a family underground. You could, you could be a juggalo, but maybe you haven't realized it yet, you know? And, yeah, um, what else? And as the years went by, you have, have you noticed that they don't use, um, racist, like, um, bigot, I mean, like, hillbillies and, um, hillbillies and rednecks no more? They don't use that no more? They don't, they use bigots now? They say racist bigots now. Um, and yeah, that pretty much just, just talks about the rebel flag and shit like that. Now, if they say fuck, now they talk making fun of rednecks and all that, then why don't they make, then why'd they hire, why'd they get Boondocks onto Psychopathic Records? Boondocks never raised a rebel flag. Boondocks said in this interview that he only raises three things. His pistol, his hatchet, and the middle finger. He said he'll never raise a rebel flag. He'll just only raise those three. So that thing is done. Now, what is the rebel flag? Now, we're going to go off to the second part of this video. What is the rebel flag? Now, 
if you're American, you should know what the rebel flag means. If not, then here it is. The rebel flag was used in the Civil War as the South represented, you know? The rebel flag kind of stood for racism and um, racism and slavery. Now, the South lost. Yes, they lost. And um, pretty much it was a good thing. And now, um, they're still selling the rebel flags today. Now, why is it that? Is it because of racism or southern pride? Here's my answer. If you're gonna rock the rep, if you're gonna rock the rebel flag, you're mostly describing yourself. Either it's because of southern pride, or you're rocking it because of slave. You like you're a racist motherfucker, you know. And if you're gonna rock the rebel flag because of you being a racist motherfucker, you might as well just rock the swastika as well, you know. I'm gonna tell you a story about a little encounter me and my homie AJ we encountered in Tiny Chat. Now we're in Tiny Chat, right? We're all chilling and shit like that, and then this hot piece of ass came in. She was 18 years old. She was a southern girl. And everyone knows me. Southern girls and southern accents from a girl boils my blood. You know, and it's a good way. She was hot as well. She was hot as hell too. And then her brother came on. He's like, yeah, I don't want no little beaner dating my little sister. I don't even want no little nigger dating my sister either. So you beaner, you can, you can cross over the fences back to Mexico and you little nigger can cross can swim across the ocean back to fucking Africa. I'm like, whoa, this dude is pure racist. Not because he called me a beaner and he called AJ a nigger, but because he believed in white America. He believed America should be white only. Other people who are who are different colors than white get out of there. You know, that's what he that's what he said to us. And you know, this girl now, what did the rebel flag have to do with this? She held up a pillow. That was a rebel flag. And he says, yeah, that's right. That's my pillow right there. I gave it to my little sister. I'm like, whoa. Yeah, this dude was racist. So they kind of rocked the rebel flag because of racism. You know, it's pretty crazy. And they, yeah, that, ex that explains my little history of the rebel flag and the rebel flag. Now, back to the boondocks. Why is boondocks signed to psychopathic records? Boondocks, well, here's the thing. Psychopathic records, they're a variety of music. You know, it's not all one thing, you know. It's ICP, they talk about the wicked shit. Twisted, they're like the dark side of psychopathic. They talk about the, the horror stuff and shit like that. Blaze, he talks about the gangster stuff. Um, ABK, he talks about the native stuff and mostly sad stuff, you know. And if you know a li little history about ABK, he grew up inside a trailer. And now look at him now, he's an underground star, you know. Boondocks, he talks about the south. Now, a lot of people can relate to him because the music he talks about, you know, the, like, um, mostly how the South is. And, you know, a lot of people seem to like his songs because of that, you know, and I'm not a big fan of Boondocks. I'll admit that. I'm not a big fan, but um, I do chill out to his songs, you know, like my favorite song of his is Sipping. So if I, if I have a cold soda or anything like that, I'll just go outside, turn it up. Then I'll just sip it, sip the cold solo while I'm in the sun, you know. And I also like to listen to um, Pray With Snakes, um, In Between, Death of a Hater, um, what else, what else, Red Mist, all that old stuff. Oh, um, and Freak Bitch, you know. And yeah, so Boondocks was signed on to Psychopathic Records just to create a variety of music, you know. Psychopathic records ain't just about one thing. It's there it's variety. And that's the good thing about psychopathic records. Now and yeah, you know. And you know, let me tell you this. I am I am a southern person. I am a southern person, you know. I'm in South Texas. I am in Corpus Christi, Texas. Do I raise the rebel flag? Why? Because I don't want to raise it, you know. I mean I never want to, I never will. I just don't know why, I just don't want to. Um I never even raised a Mexican Mexico flag. The only flag that I touched was the American flag. That's the only flag that I've ever touched. I want to take a piss on the Canadian flag, to be honest with you. I really do want to take a piss on a Canadian flag. It's just a stupid maple leaf. But yeah, this is my video. Um, what do you have to say about that? I mean, give me all the inputs, comments, uh, video responses, thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever, you know. Peace, and y'all have a nice day.